welcome to neutral side action, and we're just about ready for kickoff. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Arkansas State is lined up to kick the ball off first, and we are ready to go. Taken at the five. They'll bring him down at the 23-yard line. The Huskies offense basically predicated on what this kid can do. The thing I love about this guy, Brad, is, is just the intangibles that he brings to the table. We've been seeing this guy make plays over the weeks. But the thing that I really recognize is his ability to really lead this football team. When things are going well, he's patting everybody on the back. When things are not... Across the middle, intercepted. They'll bring him down around the 23-yard line. The linebacker here does a good job with his instincts and in getting in the path of the receiver. Boy, what a great play. From the 23-yard line, first down. to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. But the defense is fired up, responding and reacting to that sack. Not only do they get the quarterback, but they hit him and hit him hard. I think that can really create some confidence for this defense. The next time this quarterback drops back to throw, you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun shy and concerned about the pressure that these defense is putting on him. Here's the give, and they make the stop at about the 25-yard line. And the halfback carries for a pickup of three. This safety is as vicious a player as you're going to find. He will make the tackle every single time. Catches it, and he's looking for more. He's knocked out of bounds at the 14-yard line. That was a good pass and catch there, but still not enough for the first down. That's not an easy conversion here on third down for the offense. All the defense has to do is stay back, keep everything in front of them, come up and make a tackle. Tackle made right around the 18-yard line, and they'll fail on fourth down. Well, the offense looked like they wanted to bounce the ball to the outside. This defense just has too much speed did a good job of shutting off the edge and preventing the ball carrier from getting to the first down. Well, let's see if he can shake off that pick that he tossed last time out. I look for the offense to come out with the same game plan as before. You don't make changes after one play. Drop down around the 29-yard line. This receiving core runs some great routes, and that last play was an example of that. As a defender, it can be tough to match up sometimes. for a short game there. The halfback took the option and did what he could with it. He didn't get far, but he picked up the first down. Caught, and he's hit immediately. He's scrambling. Right around the 46 yard line. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Looks middle, got his back. That's a great tackle at the 47 yard line. And he 
tackles him hard at the 44-yard line. And down he goes, right around the 34. And he's taken down, around the 26-yard line. Second and 13. Ball on the 25 yard line. Throws out to the back and it's through his hands. That was textbook coverage by the defense. That's exactly what you want to do on every single pass play, but it doesn't always happen. And this is the 14th play of the drive. Hits him hard at the 33. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. Northern Illinois is looking to go up by three. It's up, looks long enough. And it's good! And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 29. They went for it on fourth down on their last possession and weren't successful. You know, the last time this offense was out on the field, they went for it on fourth down, Brad, and they came up short. I think as an offensive coordinator and a play caller, you've got to be very selective on when to go for it and when maybe to just punch the ball and change the field position. So it's second and 12. Ball on the 27-yard line. In, in college football just pins his ears back and has again that extra instinct to know when to jump the snap count when to take a chance on third down it seems like they almost save their extra pass rush and extra incentive as far as their, their energy when it really matters on a third down when they feel like they can beat that offensive tackle and get off the line of scrimmage a little bit quicker and that's something that i think we've seen him do throughout this game and he's taken down at midfield. Got to give some applause to the defense. They really came out playing strong today. Well, you know better than me, Brad. This college football game is about emotion. And to be able to play great defense in the college game, you got to come out and play with your hair on fire. We've seen that from both of these defenses so far. Three points was the result of their last drive as the offense heads out for another. Northern Illinois is up a field goal. Scrambling around. They'll bring him down right around the 38 yard line. Now he's scrambling. He's got the corner. And now he's going to improvise. Knocked out of bounds at 
the 21. It's always a snap decision when you decide to tuck it and run. On that play, it was definitely the right move as he got the first down after a nice game. He's gobbled up in the backfield. He knew it was a run all the way. Got a good jump. Once he got there, he wasn't about to let him slip away either. From the 23-yard line, second down. And he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. Dips up into the pocket, and they've got it. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. He gets it up, and it's long enough, and he nails the long field goal. They line up to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. Across the 30. And down he goes at the 32-yard line. Northern Illinois' defense is playing lights out right now and pitching a shot. Yeah, I would not be shocked at all to see this defense be able to maintain this. I, I just the way they're playing, the attitude that they seem to be playing with, if they can maintain the energy and the awareness of this offense, there's a very good shot that they could shut this offense out. They bring him down in the backfield. the 47 and that was an excellent run there yeah Brad but it was also great blocking up front by the offensive line to open up the hole gets it he's in space very good tackle in space that makes it second and two Initially, it was called a catch, but now we're going to find out for sure if he at least had one foot in and possession of the ball before he went out of bounds. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was in bounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. So after the review, the verdict is that it was no catch. They missed it on the field, but that was a bang-bang play. The important thing is they got the call right. Quick strike to the receiver. And they make the stop, the 21 yard line. From the 21 yard line, it's first down. him for a loss. Gives it off. Nice run to the outside. Well, let's see if the third time's a charm down here in the red zone. Pressured and brought down.
Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. The Red Wolves' wide receiver, we hope, can make a comeback and get back in this ball game. Went out with that injury a little bit earlier. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. And the defense comes through. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. Northern Illinois with a six-point lead. Finds his man, and they take him down immediately. He makes a catch and has a first down. He's pushed out of bounds at the 39-yard line. Second down, eight to go. Ball on the 35. Throws it. Nice grab on the play. Touchdown, Northern Illinois. What a strike for the score. And he did a nice job of looking off his defenders. Seven play, 79 yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. The score now 13 0. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20 at the 30. Brought down the 33 yard line. The Huskies are smothering the opposition so far today. What's this offense got to do to get off the schneid? Well, you talk to offensive coordinators about that, and they'll say we've got to find our go-to guy. Who are our players that we know we can count on? And what are the plays that we typically feel the most confident about? It's usually where the offenses tend to go when they're getting shut down. He's going to try and scramble. And he's sacked. Boy, this defense really came to play today. Well, they said before the game that they wanted to put a lot of pressure on this quarterback. They sure stuck to that plan. From their own 31-yard line, second down. and blew that play up well behind the line of scrimmage. That makes it second and 
from their own 49 yard line. Second down. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. It's a fumble. That was a close one, but the ball goes out of bounds. Get a little sloppy here with the ball here. It's a good thing they were near the sideline. Otherwise, the defense could have pounced on that football. It's first and ten. Ball on the 32. He has some room. He gets to about the 24-yard line. Has some daylight. Inside the 10. He makes his way out to about the 6. Are these guys going to finally put an end to their red zone struggles? Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Somebody jumped early down there. False start. Offense. Little stumbles like these can kill your offensive progress. Still, Still second, second down. down. They're at the six. It's second down. Takes it up the middle for a nice one. converts the extra point. It was an 11-play, 73-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. He'll return it from the six. Tackle the 36-yard line. And I think this defense right now needs somebody to try to lift up their spirits. They seem to really be just out there kind of going through the motions. And I think the last time they were out there when they gave up such a long drive has had an impact and an effect negatively on the psyche of this defense. Right here, right here. 41's coming, 41's the Northern Illinois is up by six. And he just gets rid of it. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Tackle at the 39. About the 37 yard line. Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 29. He's on the run. 
And he can't get away from the pressure. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks. Or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. The punting team's got to give their kicker some time. That was a nice little pooch kick right there. That's why they made the decision to punt the ball right there. They wanted to pin this offense deep in their own territory. This team really trusts their defense. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Just throws this one away. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 10. They run it left. He's taken down at about the 13. it out to about the 47 yard line their last drive ended in a punch so this quarterback's going to be looking for something better on this drive northern illinois up six here's a running play and he's taken down around the 39 yard line at the 30 he's at the 20 and they finally push him out at the eight yard line throws incomplete from the eight yard line it's second down Touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. He's taken down with the 24-yard line. The offense is looking to be a little bit more successful with this drive as they had to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They've been beaten soundly on both sides of the ball, and we haven't even gotten to the second quarter. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. Brought down at about the 41. Some nice touch on that throw. The screen can be tricky to execute because you're actually allowing the defense to come right at you as a quarterback. And that's what you want. One missed block, and it could easily result in lost yards. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. And he's tackled at the 49 yard line. He's at the 40. He makes his way to about the 38. That makes it first in And down he goes at the 42 yard line. From the 42 yard line, second down. On the ground, left.
offside. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. Zips it left. That close to being intercepted. Well, that's one effective way to slow these guys down. Getting a hand between the ball and the receiver. And they could really put their opponent in bad field position with a good punt here. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. Northern Illinois' offense right now, I think all you can call is scary. Well, they can attack you in so many different ways. They have a quarterback right now that's getting the ball out of his hands and making great decisions, and they have playmakers all over the field. This offense is tough to stop. There's a play fake. Got the corner. He's to the 40. They'll bring him down around the 43-yard line. And we've reached the end of the first quarter. 20-7, Husky. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. He's at the 40. And he's level at the 34-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 34-yard line. Well, as they take a look at that injury on the sideline, let's see what this backup can do at quarterback. He fights forward to about the 33. He gets rid of this one. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Third down, and they need to get it to the 24. The Huskies saw one of their top players going down earlier, but it looks like he's going to be able to get back in there. Straight run here, and he's got nowhere to go. Doesn't want to let the punt returner have a chance here. He just wants to change field position. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Throws it in a hurry. And they make the stop right around the 30. it out to maybe the 36-yard line. He gets out to about the 44-yard line. Now he pitches it. Sets up a 
screen. Tailback's got it. And they push him out at the 36. Getting him the ball in the passing game creates real havoc for the defense. There aren't many linebackers who can stay with him in coverage, that's for sure. So the sack makes this a second and long. Tries to set up a screen for the wide receiver. Tackle made the 39-yard line. Flings it. And he's hit before it can go anywhere. Quick strike to the receiver. Touchdown. Catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. He makes the PAT. Arkansas State gets set to kick this one away. Fielded at the four. Brought down at the 24. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Now he tries to buy some time. Tackle at the 35-yard line. Spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Easy, easy. Quick throw incomplete, one of his receiver. Second and ten. Ball on the 35 yard line. Northern Illinois with a six point lead. to his receiver. He's tackled at the 48. package in there to try and deal with this five receiver look. He's taken down at the 43 yard line. They're trying to pin them deep with a solid punt right here. He takes it at the 12. He's tackled at the 18. 
the last time out, they were able to pick up big chunks of yards through the air. You wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy or will they start to lean a little bit more on their ground game. Makes it to the 27. He's got an opening. Gains his way to the 36-yard line. That makes it first and ten. He makes his way to about the 48. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. He makes his way to about the 32. Middle for a nice game. Gain of five yards. That brings him second and five. It's second and five here. Ball on the 27. He's scrambling. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. Slides down to the ground. That makes it first and ten. Taken down at the eight. Somebody jumped early down there. False start. Offense. Little stumbles like these can kill your offensive progress. Still second down. From the 13 yard line, it's second down. He scrambled. He decides to run with it. Outstanding run and great execution by the entire offensive unit, especially the blocking up front. Here's the extra point that can give them the lead. He hits the PAT. Arkansas State lines up for the kickoff. He's to the 20. He's out to the 30. And down he goes at the 46-yard line. Good, solid return that time. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Makes it out to about the 46. And now he's got room to run. He's at the 30. Gets out to around the 22. He fights forward to about the 20. Here's the half. 
left back on the screen. And he's pushed out of bounds, setting up a first and goal. Touchdown, Huskies. Powerful push by the line and a really nice run. That'll get you into the end zone almost every time. And he adds the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. Across the 30. The 50. And they finally tackle him at the 38. This one might be coming back, folks. Let's check out the penalty. Clipping. Receiving team. So they'll move back after that costly penalty, and they'll have to try to get that yardage back here. Pretty good looking touchdown drive the last time these guys were out there. He makes it to the 18-yard line. Got it. And he goes down quickly. and out left to the running back. Brought down around the 24-yard line. He's taken down at the 47. I love the competitive spirit that we're seeing out on this field today. It looks like one team has the upper hand, and then the other comes right back in to be able to regain the lead. It's going to be an exciting finish. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. And he's tackled at the 43. Northern Illinois is up by six. And down he goes at the 32. And he carries the ball for a nice game. out to about the 17-yard line. He gets sacked on the play. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Nice run, and he's brought down. They'll line it up for the field goal. 
Northern Illinois. Up six. Kicks up, and it splits the uprights. They line up to kick this one away. It's fielded at the two. And he's tackled at the 20. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. So they pick up three on the option keeper. One thing the coaches always say about this sophomore is that he has great lateral movement. That lets him move well behind this defensive line and get after a lot of plays in the running game. Decides to slide. Quick strike and he drops it. From their own 34-yard line, it's second down. After a decent run up the gut. That's a genius five on the Get to that quickly. He gets hit out of bounds at about the 47 yard line. Bring him down at the 38-yard line. That's a deep That brings in second and I got you. I got you. Blue 14. Ruin. Ruin. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. That's a deep two. That makes it first and ten. Run there. That brings him second and five. And he stopped behind the line. The defense needs to be careful. Safety might have made that play, but if he keeps coming up on the run, he'll be spaced downfield for the pass. And this is the tenth play of the drive. Fires it quickly. Interception. Brad, I'm going to put that one on the quarterback. I think he's forcing the issue out there. I understand you're down a couple scores and you're trying to get back into the game, but you can't get it all back at once. You've got to be patient, take your time, and methodically work yourselves back as a team back into this game. It's first and ten. Ball on the 35. the stop around the 43 yard line. Gains his way to the 46 yard line. Second down. Goes to the back quickly. Off 
his hands incomplete. Without being penalized to prevent the offense from moving forward is always a plus. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Tackle made at the two-yard line. football today. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Taken at the five. He got hit hard. They threw a pick the last time out. Should be interesting to see what they do this time. I look for the offense to come out with the same game plan as before. You don't make changes after one play. He's tackled at the 27. He tops 100 yards on the ground with that last run. You just can't say enough about the job the offensive line has done. They've kept the running lanes open and given him all kinds of space to maneuver. Got the corner. And he shoved out of bounds around the 40-yard line. From their own 40-yard line. First down. Scrambling around. He's taken down at the 48-yard line. That's good for a of eight yards. That'll bring up second and three. The lineman got a little ahead of the snap count. Here's the call. Ball start. Offense. That penalty will move him back a bit. Yeah, and with so many young guys out there, it's bound to happen occasionally. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on their own 43. Tries to scramble, but he's sacked. You know, that time, I think he saw the pressure was coming. He tried to make a play as a quarterback, and I can understand that. But eventually, you've got to be able to get rid of the football before you take a sack. That is a minus for the quarterback. Chucks it downfield. Tackle at the 32-yard line. Caught enough for the first down. And he's taken down around the 19-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 19-yard line. Here's a handoff, left side. Nice run to the outside. That brings him second and five. Makes it out to maybe the 13-yard line. He's on the run. 
They bring him down. Can this offense do anything to slow down this pass rush? I think they need to make some adjustments with their pass protection. Maybe allow the backs to stay in the block because the quarterback is getting pounded back there. Fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here. He gets it up, and they tack on three points. And that'll do it for the first half. The Huskies with a 13-point lead. we played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Exciting first half there. It seemed like every time you turned around, there was another big play. Both of these offenses coming up with yards and chunks, and it's really paid off for them in the first half. Yeah, and uh, it's one thing for offenses to execute and, and get little plays here and there and continue drives, but it's really nice when you hit home runs. It's really nice to make it simple and say, all right, we're going to get about 50 right here. We're going to get about 30 right here. You know, the offense came simple. Uh, you know, great job playmakers making plays, breaking tackles, you know, spinning off players, making big making big gains. You know, listen, it makes offense very simple. There's no secret to it. If you got all explosive offenses that can do this, you can get big chunk plays, they're going to score a lot of points every single game. Just about ready to start the second half. We're going to watch all the games around the country, including some coaches who like to sample the surface that they're playing on. I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, I'm going to go to the cafeteria. You want some turf? Some astro turf or anything? Yeah, if they've got some, I'll chew on that in the second half. Here's the second half for you to chew on with Brad and Kirk. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. He's to the 20. Gets to about the 24-yard line. There's a player hurt. It doesn't look to be that bad. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Throws to the receiver. Incomplete. From their own 24-yard line, it's second down. The Red Wolves saw one of their top players going down earlier. It looks like he's going to be able to get back in there. Brought down at the 30-yard line. Fires to his receiver, first down. And he's tackled at about the 43-yard line. Now he tries to buy some time. There he goes. Slides down to the ground. That makes it second and two. Pushed out of bounds around the 39-yard line. That makes it first and ten. There's a little bit of happy feet down there on the field. Let's get the call. Ball start. Offense. You got to be careful to avoid these penalties. Are a great way to stall out a drive. First and 15 now after the penalty. He scrambled, decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. And down he goes, right around the 32-yard line. Good game there on the quarterback scramble. You know, I really like the decision to tuck it and run here. He waited and found no one open, so instead of throwing it away, he just took it upfield for himself. They'll bring him down at the 19th. 
17. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. It's the ninth play of the drive. That makes it second and ten. He gets out to about the 18-yard line. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. He makes the PAT. A 10-play, 80-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. Arkansas State ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. Kirk, if this keeps going like it has been, we are going to have one exciting fourth quarter. I just hope we continue to see this kind of execution. It's a lot of fun to be able to watch these offenses make plays, and it kind of has that feel. Whoever does have the ball last and a chance to make a play could win this game. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Northern Illinois is up by six. There he goes. He makes his way out to about the 35. Into the tailback, and he's met in the backfield. From their own 32-yard line, second down. Inside give. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. will come out again hoping to have similar results as their last drive. You know, when this defense went over to the sideline based on the way they've been playing so far, this defense coordinator has got to be living. He's got to get in their face. He's got to challenge them. He's got to get their emotions going. Because when you play defense, it's not just about X's and O's. It's about attitude and playing with a lot of confidence. That brings in second and nine. He makes his way to about the 48. That makes it first and ten. Dangerous throw. And this one's picked off. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. To the 20. The 10. Touchdown, Huskies. So a great play by the defender to give his team six points. That was a very good play, and that will certainly help build his team's momentum. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Kickoff. 
taken from the three-yard line. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. So the offense will come back out onto the field, hoping for a little better result than that last pick six. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. He throws right. You know, for a safety, this guy has really good hands. I'm very surprised to see him drop an interception like that. Could come back to haunt his team as well. Third and eight. Ball on the 26. Throws it to the outside. They can't connect. Incomplete. Excellent series by this defense, forcing them to go three and out. And the offense really struggled on this drive. They're going to have to pick it up if they want to move the ball on these guys. And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. They'll spread the field with five wide. Fires out to his wideout, and they make the stop around the 48-yard line. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Watch down, and he's going to get sacked. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 43. spotted but it looks like he was stopped short I think so Brad and the defense was bending on that play a little too much but they didn't break fourth down and the offense is still on the field he fights forward to about the 30 what happens on a false start is a lineman will see movement on the other side of the ball and be coaxed into jumping early. From the 31-yard line, second down. Fires quick, he catches another. He's at the 20. Tackle made at the 15. the 11th play of the drive.
for the end zone. What more can you say? He wasn't giving up on that run until he was in for the score. And he tacks on the extra point. It was a 12 play, 58 yard drive, and they put up seven points. They line up to kick this one away. It's fielded at the two. And down he goes at the 24 yard line. The Red Wolves have just gone ice cold on offense. They can't seem to get anything going. Here. Well, and right now, they just have to forget the score, forget the clock. Just go out there and try to get a first down. Try to hope to build a little bit more confidence and continuity on this offense. The offense is looking to be a little bit more successful with this drive as they had to pump the ball away the last time they had it. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. Gets out to about the 37 yard line. First down. He's tackled at the 35. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on their own 35. around the 32-yard line. Fourth down, and they're going to have to punt. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down in a punt. Gets to about the 41-yard line. Their last drive ended with a touchdown. Let's see what happens on this possession. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. He's at midfield. And he's level at the 43-yard line. He's on the run. And he's taken down at the 37-yard line. Fakes the handoff, and he's in trouble. Here's the pass, broken up. They're about four yards away here on third down. to the 27. He's taken down at the 25. Nine-yard line. 
This is the tenth play of this drive. on the field. He didn't need much, and he knew he could get it himself. And he converts the extra point. Northern Illinois gets set to kick this one away. Taken at the five. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. The Husky staff has got a winner on their hands. You've been around kids like this. They're just fun to be around. They're fun to be around, and I think it's infectious. His attitude, I think, uh, permeates throughout this entire offense and really uh, throughout the entire team. There's, it's no wonder that his team is so competitive with him at the, at the front leading the way. Hand off, and he's met in the backfield. It's second down now, 13 to go. Ball on 24. Brought down at the 26 yard line. Fires out to his receiver. They couldn't pick up the first down, so they'll have to punt this one away. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well. So he got a little on that return. Well, Brad, early it looked like there was an opening there, but the seam closed quickly. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Northern Illinois up by a big margin. Nice run, and he's brought down. And he's tackled at the 49-yard line. We got a flag down on the field. Might have been offsides. Defense. It's easy to teach guys to watch the ball and not listen to the quarterback's cadence, but some quarterbacks are just so good at barking out the signals that they're still able to draw some of these guys offsides. Nice run there. Six yards there on the counter. Receivers got the first down. They'll bring him down around the 23 yard line. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. He gets out to about the 11 yard line. Call by the offensive coordinator. Big time play, taking that ball all the way in. Maybe the defense wasn't expecting a run. And he hits the PAT. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He'll return it from the three. 
Gets to about the 27-yard line. Northern Illinois has got a little Jekyll and Hyde thing going on here on their defense. Well, they were on their heels the entire first half. You look around now, they're flying around, making a lot of plays, and really giving themselves a chance to maybe win this game. I hope they show some fight here and try to stay competitive. If you're going to get blown out, you at least want to go down swinging. And down he goes to the 38-yard line. He's scrambling. And now he's going to run. And he tackles him hard. That's the 49. There's a strike complete. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here. Recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. the stop around the 38-yard line. Passes left, gets it out to the halfback. He's knocked out of bounds at the 31-yard line. From the 23 yard line. First down. Going right, intercepted. Inside the 10. Touchdown! about the play by the defender that was a great interception and an even better effort to bring the ball back for a touchdown he makes the PAT Kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20, makes it to the 22-yard line. The day has not gone very well for this young man. Well, it may seem obvious right now, but if you don't take care of the football, you're just not going to win many football games. Even though it hasn't been his day so far, he can still help this team. He just needs to be positive out there. It's going to be interesting now to see if this quarterback can put that last throw behind him. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes. That's a great tackle at the 28. He scrambled, runs with it, and he's got room. Slides down. They'll go ground. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. Left intercepted. 
They've just been outmatched and outplayed this entire game. That pass was thrown with very little confidence, and it was an easy interception for the defense. From the 48-yard line, first down. Northern Illinois looking to add to this big lead here. Here's the handoff, and he's taken down for a loss. at the 30, the 10. What a play, and that'll set up a first and goal. That makes it first and goal. On the ground with the tailback. He makes it out to maybe the seven yard line. before he could get anything going. Yeah, there was nothing there on that option. It's fourth down. They're going to go for the easy three here. This will just add insult to injury. Kicks away, and they tack on three points. like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20, and he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. Not a whole lot's been working for them so far. They should just come out and play loose and easy because they've got nothing to lose. scrambling and they got him it's a big time effort sacked by the defensive end i want to also give some credit to the coverage downfield the end never gave up on the play but because the quarterback didn't have anywhere to go with the football it gave the defensive end enough time to eventually chase the quarterback down for that sack from their own 20 yard line it's second down He's going to try and scramble. Tackle made at the 21-yard line. Setting up blockers or running backs. Got it on the screen. He's tackled at the 26. I don't know what game plan this offense is running. But it might need to be reassessed by this coaching staff. Everybody up close. It looks like they're coming after this kick. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. The quarterback leads his squad back out. They got three on their last possession. Northern Illinois up big right now in this one. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. He makes it to the 45-yard line. We head to the fourth quarter, and this one might be over. The Huskies with a huge lead. Just about set to start the fourth quarter, mercifully. Here we go. And some daylight. He's at the 30, gets out to around the 25. That makes 
first and ten. First down, ten to go. Ball in the twenty-five. The 23. That's a team of two. That makes it second and eight. They'll spread the field with five wide. And he is drilled at the 12. From the 12 yard line, it's first down. Here's an opening. Touchdown, Northern Illinois. Well-designed play to get the hat back into the end zone. Hey, for this guy, it doesn't matter how it's drawn up. He can make his own play as he goes along. That was a nice run. He splits the uprights with the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 25-yard line. The deficit is huge. But as a player, you never want to slow down your effort. Believe me, coaches notice the ones who aren't trying that hard. He's on the run, and they bring him down for a sack on the play. From their own 21-yard line, second down. to his receiver, and he's tackled in the open field. Quick throw, almost intercepted. That's exactly how they drew it up in the sideline, and now they get the ball back. Taken down at the 40. So now the offense comes back out, hoping for the same success they had on their last drive. They just seem like they've been in the end zone time and time again. There's not much negative you can say about this performance. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's good for a game of five yards. That brings him second and five. From their own 45-yard line. Second down, Northern Illinois. Up big. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. And they push him out at about the 43-yard line. Taken down around the 40 yard line. That'll make it second and seven. From the 40 yard line, it's second down. He fights forward to about the 40.
In a perfect world, he knocks this kick down inside the 10. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. Right down the 33-yard line. tries to buy some time. They'll make the sack. That'll make it second and long. So the sack makes this a second and long. Five yard line. I think it was a great play call. It was very well executed. Any coach would be happy with that kind of outcome on a first or second down play. Scrambling around. And he's tackled the 39 yard line. That makes it four and four. teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. Northern Illinois looking to build on this commanding lead here. Got an opening. He's to the 40. He makes his way to about the 42. From their own 42-yard line. First down. Brings it out left, and he stopped right away. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 48. on the screen. He's pushed out of bounds at the 50-yard line. He'll try to change the field position and especially not get it to the end zone. And he's got to be happy with that punt, Kirk. Yeah, Brad, that was nice. And now they're looking at a long way to go to even think about a score. I don't expect any once-in-a-lifetime rallies here. But that being said, we could still see some exciting plays. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. From their own 20-yard line. Second down. Gets it out in a hurry. Pulls it in, and he could score. And he's out of bounds at the 50. He's scrambling. He gets sacked on the play. Second down and 12. Ball on their own 48. Here's the throw. I don't think he got anything on that. He didn't have much of a chance on that point. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball.
Cross is out for the tailback on the screen. And he shoved out of bounds at the 40-yard line. That makes it first and ten. He scrambled, and he can't get away from the pressure. That brings up second and 13. So that sack sets him back a little bit now. They're looking at second and 13. scrambling and they get the sack they get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started this young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen it's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that and this play is number eight on the drive the catch and look out and down he goes at the 35 looks like they've decided to go for it here looks middle got his back he has some room to the 10 they bring him down but not before he gets a glimpse of the end zone well, they're not going to win it, but they're still playing hard out there. A powerful push by the line and a really nice run. That'll get you into the end zone almost every time. And he tacks on the extra point. Kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He'll return it from the four-yard line. Tackle at the 25. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. Northern Illinois with a commanding lead. They'll bring him down at about the 35. First and 10. Ball on the 35. And they get nice yardage on that run. So they get five yards there on the halfback draw. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Throws it in a hurry. And they make the stop at the 44. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 44 yard line. Here's the halfback. He gets to about the 34-yard line. That brings up second and one. Again with a carry. He makes his way out to about the 25. First and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Man, did he play that perfectly or what? As a linebacker, you have to be able to read the offense and make a quick diagnosis, which is exactly what he did on that play. Northern Illinois in control. 
Grabs it and hammered right there. Here's the eighth play of the series. The 17-yard line. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. They're already up big, and this could make the lead bigger. Kicks up, and it's through the uprights. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And as the defense comes back out, you can be sure they're thinking about that score they surrendered the last time around. Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack a defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job in being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback put the ball right on the mark. He's going to try and scramble. He's tackled right around the 34. That's a team of six on the play. That'll make it 31. Quick pass. Tackle around the 43 yard line. First down. Fine, big hit there to stop it. He's on the run. They bring the quarterback down. He fires left side. It falls incomplete. That's just a shame. The receiver did his job. He's able to get a step on the defender, but the ball was under thrown. Heading for the corner, and he's tackled at the 26. Well, the coverage team did their job and made the play. Let's see if the defense can continue the effort. Last drive resulted in a field goal, and the offense will come back out looking to do one better. I expect him to run the ball, kill the clock, and put this one in the books. Makes it to the 34. Nice job by the running back, and that'll get him seven, maybe eight yards. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Northern Illinois, up big right now in this one. And they'll run him again. Nice run, and he's brought down. He makes his way to about the 48. It's second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. They'll get him for a loss. That'll bring up third and four. Down the middle. 
complete. It's the freshman. He's all the way home. Touchdown. The Huskies knew they had a star quarterback. He came through for him in the clutch. And this defense knows how good this quarterback is. In fact, that's why they decided to try to get as much pressure on him as they could. They weren't able to get home, leaving him plenty of time to make the throw, and he delivered when he needed to. And he converts the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 31 yard line. I don't expect any once in a lifetime rallies here, but that being said, we could still see some exciting plays. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. He gets rid of this one. From their own 31 yard line. Second down. Over the middle to his tailback. And he's taken down at the 40. He makes the catch and has a first down. Under pressure, and they got him. Oh, that is a big hit on the quarterback. That's one of those as an offensive lineman, when the film study starts to come around, you're going to kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're going to get embarrassed on Monday on that one. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. And he is drilled at the 49. Stop made there late in the fourth quarter, but this game's been over almost since the beginning. I think it's time for everybody to head to the locker room. He's going to aim this one to the sideline, try to kick it out of bounds. And down he goes at the 19. The Huskies coaching staff stuck to their game plan. It worked. Yeah, give him a lot of credit for coming up with a plan where they knew they could find ways to get him the football. Even with all the recognition and defense being concerned about him, they came up with that plan and this young man delivered. We have less than a minute to go. And he's tackled after positive yardage. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. to about the 27 yard line. Northern Illinois staff just dancing on the sideline. Their star player came through for them and they couldn't be happy. Well, the staff has to feel good. The entire team should feel good. And I know you and I just having a chance to sit back and, and watch this young man play. Uh, just an outstanding performance and something that this entire team will be able to build on. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Curve Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.